This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show at the 2013 Vans Warped Tour, and I'm here with Beebs from Beebs and her moneymakers. What are your moneymakers? I know it's supposed to be your band, but I think there's a double entendre there. It's a, that's exactly what it is. You nailed it. It's a double entendre. Interpret it however you would like to. Describe your music. Our music is honestly, for me, undescribable. It's a, it's a mix between many genres. It's funk, ska, soul, rock, blues. Um, it's we all come from very different musical backgrounds, so it's kind of a melting pot and culmination of all of our different musical styles kind of melted together. So I just mostly tell people it's like robot hot dog music. And they're like, what does that mean? I'm like, that's pretty much how I feel about telling you what genre it is. It's hard. That's very random. Yeah, it's random. We and then what is your background in music? How did you come to be the singer of this band? Um, I've done theater uh, and, and singing my whole life and then up, up until around maybe 17 or 18 and then I I uh, managed bands and did tour managing and was a booking agent for a while and I learned a lot about the industry and kind of learned the ins and outs and I was like I'm just gonna do this for myself and I'm gonna see how it goes and it's been going really well so far why was it important for you to be the lead singer of a band um because I'm because I don't play an instrument I play kazoo and that's it I don't think, I don't think Kazoo alone without singing or a band would be as cool as it is with my band. But I mean more like what is it, what's inside of you? What what drove you to want to be the singer of a band? I just love singing. I sing every day. Like singing, that's in my soul. I grew up with music. My dad sang every morning. My I was just music all the time in my life. So um, singing just seemed to be the natural role for me in a band. And who are some of your uh, early influences? Um, I would say Willie Nelson, Patsy Cline, um, to Al Green, Earth, Wind and Fire, to No Doubt, to um, Etta Jane. I mean, it's kind of all over the board. I have a lot of different musical influences. So. And so, do you, will people hear those different vocal influences in your sound? I, I think so. I think I think my sound is kind of a mixture of of all that music that's in my head. So I think that's kind of what makes it unique in my own. And then what about a label? Uh, nope, no label. No label, you guys are doing this all by yourself. We do everything in house. We manage ourselves, we do our own booking, we do our own promotion, we do our own music videos, we do our own marketing, we produce our own albums. We are our own label, basically. How do you, how do you guys do that? How do you find the financial support to do that? Um, in the beginning, I just poured all my money <laughs> into the band. Um, now, honestly, our band to me is more of a movement. It's been a huge culmination of a lot of people that believed in our dream and our vision. And we, you know, we've done some of our own fundraising through things like Indiegogo. Um, we also, I also do sponsorship deals, so that's another way that we've been able to fund things. Like for this tour, for example, we partnered with Ripley's Believe It or Not, and, um, which, and is awesome. which is awesome. It's the perfect partnership because. Our message as a band is, and, and with our music, is positivity. You know, we're just here to, the premise of our band is that we're superheroes and our message is that everybody is a superhero. You just have to find your own passion that lives inside you. That's your superpower and you just run with that. And Ripley's message is like, if you're odd or different or weird, they celebrate that. And just, it's about being unique and being yourself. So our messages, were, our messages are very similar and it seemed like the perfect partnership for a tour. What do you think is odd and weird about you? Um... Hmm, there's so many things. I'm a huge nerd. I mean, we have our own comic book. Everyone's like, oh, Beebs is cool. Beebs is not cool. Beebs is a huge nerd. Let me just reiterate that. I'm not trying to be cool. I'm just a nerdy kid living my dream. You're just a very hot nerdy kid, <laughs> okay? Because you're hot. Okay, so you're, you're out here. but plus, you know what, you don't, I mean, if you've been watching television for the past two years, you don't watch TV at all. No. Well, let me tell you, being a nerd is not nerdy anymore. Oh, being not. a nerd is cool. Oh, well, then I don't want to be something different. There's though. this little show <laughs> called The Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory. Oh, I, I don't watch TV. Okay, so listen, The Big Bang Theory, the number one syndicated show probably on television, okay. it's all about nerds. Oh, well. I guess I am cool then. You're cool. I'm sorry. Damn. Man, we just ruined it for your whole career. Now you're gonna yeah, have my to, entire career. Now you're gonna have to put and a death metal band. Card. A death metal? Oh, I don't know yeah, if I can yeah. go that far. Oh come on, you could do that. Death metal? Okay, sweet. Sure. Death metal. All day. With kazoo though. With death kazoo. metal with kazoo. You know what? You could distort the kazoo and it would work. I actually do have a MIDI and a wah pedal for my kazoo. There you so go. Nice. It could work out. So name two of your songs. 
to uh, we just released a new album and a new video um, for a single off the new album called Jumpin'. Um, we actually filmed it at Ripley's. It was a lot of fun. Kind of creepy in there at night by yourself when the exhibits are all on. Um, and another track on our new album, or actually, Miss Captain Kangaroo is one of our, my favorite tracks off our last album. So, so tell me the message behind Miss Captain Kangaroo. Randomness. <laughs> Complete randomness. Now, random. Now, now, how does that work into the positive message? Um, I think that being random and being weird is fine. Like, as that's kind of the whole message. It's okay. Like, you can be random. You can be weird. You can be awkward, and life's okay. It doesn't matter. You know, just do your thing. What are fans saying to you on the road then? Um, we've gotten a lot of really good responses. Um, especially we, we're not the cool band that's like, oh, we only do signings at this time, or we don't do signings, or we don't want to talk to you. Like, we want to talk to everyone. We want to give everyone a free sweaty hug. We want to know your name. We want to just be your new friend, and we want you to be our new friend. So I guess that's been the biggest response is that we're really nice to our fans. But to me, as an artist, you should be nothing but nice and go above and beyond for your fans because those are the people that are supporting your career. Your career solely depends on your fans. So I think that you should be nothing but nice to them. But the thing is, is that once you, be, you become an icon and you're like in, on the cover of AP Magazine and you're at the Golden God Awards or whatever, then it's like, hey, there's gonna, like look at Haley from Paramore. She can't do every interview now. She can't give sweaty hugs to people anymore. I'm still gonna Th give sweaty hugs. Let it be known that I'm still gonna be giving sweaty hugs. I, Your I was, publicist won't let you. That's why I'm my own publicist. You are? Yes. Like, I don't care. I was very inspired. I have a friend, Donovan Frankenrider. He's a great artist. Um, he takes every show. We've done a few runs with him. Every single show. He's, even if he has to stay two hours after the show to say hi to everyone and have a conversation with them and give everyone a hug, he does. You know, that's it's important, I feel, to give people that time. No, I think you're right. I, the, the sad thing about it is that so many people don't feel that the press is important anymore. I mean, I mean no, a lot of people feel like that. They won't make time for interviews, okay? I, don't, I think that's, and I think that's wrong because I think that, you know, I mean, you're, like I said, your career is solely dependent on how much everyone else likes you. So I feel, you know, or, or how much exposure you're getting for your brand. So I feel it's important to do every interview. Um, as well as, you know, we're not just a band playing and oh, we want to be famous and make a bunch of money. We have a message to send out, which is to be yourself and be positive and just live, you know, be happy. The goal of life is being happy. So if I'm not doing every interview and I'm not getting a chance to talk to people, I'm not getting the message that I want to get across. And that's defeating the whole purpose of why I do what I do. And Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley both said it's your job as an artist to do press. It is. It's your job and it's also your job as an artist to, to cater to your fans. What is it, what, why is it so important to you, this positive message? What happened in your life that made you feel like you needed to tell the world that, that hey, it's okay to be different? I mean, I've been through some, you know, everyone in life goes through their own craziness. Um, for me personally, I've been through more than I could even tell you in this one particular interview, but the very last, you know, icing on the cake, I gotta go hard with this band, was when my mom passed away in 2010, and she always supported my dream of music, even to the point where, you know, she passed away, the morning she passed away, we had a show that night, I went and played that show, it was a rough show to get through, but I knew that she would be super pissed at me if I canceled it, because she knows how hard I worked and how much she's encouraged me, and it was just a, and it was just a good reminder that life is relatively short, and the goal to life is being happy. I spent many years when I was younger being picked on and being bullied and being depressed and being miserable and feeling sorry for myself and I've just realized that none of that matters as long as you're happy with yourself life is pretty easy and things are gonna happen but it's not what things happen to you that define your life it's how you deal with those situations that define who you are as a person where they can get your record you can buy our new record at a live show which i promise you won't be disappointed it's like a circus and uh, you can also buy it on cd baby and itunes and the band's beebs and money makers go to our website beebs and money makers.com or bam.com b-a-h-m-m.com you say that stage shows like a circus. It is. Are you guys? Party. What's going on up there? What kind of We're antics? Fun. I get to play music with my best friends every day. Like we have fun. That's it. The whole goal is just. It's not even a goal. We just naturally have fun, and I think other people see that and they want to join the party, and then we want them to. Well, Beebs, it's been great talking to you. Blaring out with Eric Blair.
Blair. Yeah, blaring out with Eric Blair at the 2013 Vans Warp Tour with Biebs of Biebs and her moneymakers, correct? Yes. All right, signing out. The blaring out show.